Have you ever wondered how colors can change the mood of your drawings? Imagine a world without color. It's like a song without melody, isn't it? Color is one of the most powerful tools at an artist's disposal. It can evoke emotions, set a scene, and even tell a story. This is the magic of color theory in art. Color theory is the science and art of using color. It's a concept that's been around for centuries, and it's as applicable today as it was then. Artists use color theory to decide which colors they use and how they combine them. It's like the grammar of color, helping us to communicate clearly and effectively through our artwork. Colors can convey a wide range of emotions. They can make a scene feel calm, exciting, or even mysterious. Understanding how to use color effectively is crucial for any artist, beginner, or seasoned. So, let's dive into the world of color and learn how to use it effectively in our drawings. To use color effectively, we first need to understand the basics of color theory. At the heart of color theory is the color wheel, a circular diagram of colors arranged by their chromatic relationship. Think of it as a roadmap guiding us through the world of color. Primary colors are the foundation of all other hues. These are red, blue, and yellow. They are the only colors that cannot be created by mixing other colors. Secondary colors are formed by mixing two primary colors. Red and yellow make orange, yellow and blue make green, and blue and red make purple. So, in essence, secondary colors are the children of primary colors. Tertiary colors are the offspring of a primary color and a secondary color. For example, mixing primary color red with secondary color orange gives you a tertiary color, which we call red-orange. But the color wheel is more than just a tool for mixing colors. It's also a guide for understanding color relationships. Complementary colors are those that sit directly opposite each other on the color wheel. Red and green, blue and orange, yellow and purple. When placed side by side, these pairs create the strongest contrast, making each other pop. Analogous colors are neighbors on the color wheel. They're like best friends who get along well because they share a common color component. For instance, red, red, orange, and orange are analogous colors. Monochromatic color schemes, on the other hand, are all about one color. By adjusting the brightness and saturation, we can create a variety of tones, shades, and tints from a single hue. Think of a black and white photograph, but with color. Color theory is the backbone of color usage, and the color wheel is our best friend in this journey. It helps us understand how colors interact, how they affect each other, and how we can use them to create mood, balance, and harmony in our drawings. Now that we understand the basics, we can start applying this knowledge to our drawings. Color can do more than just make a drawing look pretty. It can tell a story. A crucial aspect of artistic expression is the ability to evoke emotions and feelings through the use of color. You see, each color carries its unique emotional weight and can greatly influence the mood of your artwork. Let's explore some of these color emotion associations. Starting with the primary colors, we have red, blue, and yellow. Red is often associated with strong emotions such as love and anger. It's a bold and energetic color that can draw attention and create a sense of urgency. On the other hand, blue is the color of calm and tranquility. It can evoke feelings of peace, serenity, and stability. It's often used in scenes that need to convey a sense of calm or even sadness. Now, yellow, the color of sunshine, is associated with joy, happiness, and energy. It's a vibrant color that can inject life and enthusiasm into your artwork. Moving on to secondary colors, green, orange, and purple. Green is the color of nature, symbolizing growth, harmony, and freshness. It can be used to create a calming and restful mood. Orange combines the energy of red and the happiness of yellow. It's associated with joy, sunshine, and the tropics. It can be a great choice for creating a warm, inviting mood. Purple, the blend of the calm stability of blue and the fierce energy of red, is often associated with luxury, power, and ambition. It can provide a deep, rich backdrop that adds a touch of sophistication and mystery. These are just broad strokes. The beauty of color lies in its versatility. Subtle changes in shade, tone, or saturation can significantly alter the mood. A pastel blue might evoke feelings of softness and innocence, while a deep navy blue might suggest seriousness and power. Remember, color is a powerful tool in storytelling. Use it wisely. Experiment with different combinations, play around with shades and tones, and most importantly, trust your intuition. Your color choices can transform your artwork, so don't be afraid to use color to set the mood and tell your story. Now that we understand the theory, it's time to put it into practice. Choosing a color scheme for a drawing is an essential step in the creative process. It's not just about making things look pretty, it's about conveying a certain mood, evoking specific emotions, and telling a story. 
Let's say we're working on a piece that's meant to feel calm and serene. We might opt for cool blues, soft purples, and gentle greens. These colors often evoke feelings of tranquility and peace. On the other hand, if we're aiming for a sense of energy and excitement, we could explore using vibrant reds, bright yellows, or bold oranges. Color contrast is another important tool to have in your artistic arsenal. This involves using colors that are opposite each other on the color wheel to make elements in your artwork stand out. For instance, if you have a vibrant orange fox against a cool blue background, the contrast between these complementary colors will make the fox pop right off the page. Now let's imagine a quiet sunset scene. You might be tempted to use only warm colors like reds, oranges, and yellows, but don't forget about color contrast. Adding touches of cool colors like blues and purples can make those warm tones sing. It's important to remember that these are not rigid rules, but rather guidelines to help you make informed decisions about color. It's always great to experiment and play around with different combinations. The most important thing is to keep practicing and exploring, to understand how colors interact with each other and how they can impact the overall vibe of your artwork. In essence, color theory is like a secret language. Once you understand it, you can use it to communicate subtle messages, emotions, and moods in your artwork. It's like having a conversation with your audience without saying a single word. With practice, you'll become more confident in your color choices and create more impactful artwork. While experimenting with color is great, there are some common pitfalls to avoid. As artists, we sometimes can't resist the allure of a vibrant palette, but using too many colors can actually be a misstep. It's like going to a party where everyone is talking at once. It's overwhelming and confusing. Instead, try to limit your palette. Choose a few colors that work well together and stick with those. This will give your drawing a more cohesive and harmonious look. Now, let's talk about light. Ignoring the light source is a mistake that can make your drawing look flat and unrealistic. Light affects how we perceive color. A red apple, for instance, may appear darker or lighter depending on the light source. It's not just about painting an object with its apparent color, it's about understanding how light changes that color. So, always consider the light source when choosing your colors. Another common mistake is ignoring the color relationships. Colors are not isolated. They interact with each other and influence how we perceive them. For example, a red square will appear more intense when surrounded by green, its complementary color. So, when you're choosing colors, think about how they will interact with each other. Use color relationships to your advantage to create more dynamic and engaging drawings. And let's not forget about the value. Value refers to the lightness or darkness of a color. Ignoring the value can lead to a lack of depth and contrast in your drawings. Remember, value is just as important as color. It helps to define forms and create the illusion of depth. So, always consider the value of your colors. So, there you have it. Using too many colors, not considering the light source, ignoring color relationships, and overlooking the value are common mistakes that can hinder your color application. But don't worry, these are all part of the learning process. The more you practice, the better you'll get at using color effectively. By avoiding these common mistakes, you can create more harmonious and visually pleasing drawings. So, we've covered a lot today about using color effectively in your drawings. We started with the basics of color theory, understanding the color wheel, and the relationships between colors. We then delved into how you can use color to set the mood of your artwork. We discussed warm colors for energy and excitement, cool colors for calm and tranquility, and how contrasting colors can create tension. We moved to the practical application of color theory, where we explored how to apply these principles in your drawings, creating depth and making elements pop. And finally, we addressed common mistakes to avoid, like muddying your colors or overusing one color. In essence, color is a powerful communicator. It can evoke emotions, tell a story, and create a certain atmosphere. Remember, color is a powerful tool in your artist's toolbox. Use it wisely and you'll be amazed at the impact it can have on your artwork.